What's up guys, Tom here, welcome back everybody to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Games. Today we are playing on Survival Games 4, we're playing solo SG against what looks like no players. For some reason, whenever you start these games, or at least sometimes when you start these games, it shows that there's nobody else in the game with you, which is really weird, and then they like randomly and magically appear, oop, let me swoop that back, uh, right when you start the game, because reasons. I don't necessarily know why it's also like the reason why whenever you open certain chests on certain maps uh, sg3 that uh for some reason when you open them it shows uh, a random person like hovering in midair for like a half second and it's like it's like a weird person i think it might be your disguise personnel um i don't know i think someone explained it to me in the comments once but i have no idea what it is and it's super duper weird but anyway guys so Today, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of a story. So, I don't actually know if I've ever told this story in a video before. Let me know in the comments for you longtime viewers uh, if you've heard this story before. Um, because I tried looking through my old videos and trying to find one where I talked about this, but I couldn't necessarily find it. So, hopefully, I've never told this story before. And if not, I have another story that I'm gonna tell uh, later on in the video that, uh, assuming that this game lasts long enough, that I'll, that I'll be telling you guys. And you know it's 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 definitely a story you guys have never heard before because it's a part of my life that you guys ha, don't even know about it's it's great it's great you just stay, keep watching anyway so the first story i want to tell you guys is the time i nearly broke my arm so let me go ahead and actually first off get rid of all this stuff that i don't necessarily need i'm going to keep the uh higher tier armor in my inventory just so other people can't get it also i can make an iron sword uh, or diamond sword whenever i get the chance so that's awesome too um uh, but anyway, so once upon a time, um, I played sports, okay guys? So uh, the two main sports that I played when I was super little were baseball and then soccer, okay? Um, eventually, it devolved into just soccer because I stopped playing uh, baseball. And the reason why I stopped playing baseball uh, over time is because I was just, I'm just not good at, at baseball, guys, okay? I'm not a good baseball player. Um, throughout the entire time I pretty much ever played baseball, um, I didn't ever really, like, just do well. I always struck out at bat, like, maybe sometimes I'd hit the ball. It's just, I, w I wasn't good at it, okay? I was not coordinated for baseball. However, I was very coordinated for soccer, insert Mexican stereotype here. Um, but, like, for serious, I'm like, no joke, I'm pretty decent at, at soccer. But baseball, absolutely terrible at it. Like, not not good at all so um once upon a time i think it was minor c so the way like these uh leagues work for like little league baseball at least back when i when i did it is you started off a tee ball where it's uh you'd hit it off a tee which is just you know the ball is on a little like it, like think of it as golfing but with like a larger stick right right also this guy's about to get wrecked goodbye son later oh doesn't that suck doesn't that just Oh, that that sucks, don't it? You're, you're gonna you're gonna be a little you'll trap it in there forever now. Uh, for some reason, there's no lava that came out. Should have should have dropped the lava. Didn't. That kind of ruined 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 the prank, bro. Just a prank, a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, continuing on with my story. Uh, it, and then it goes um t ball, and then it goes coach pitch where the coach throws the ball. And then it goes minor c where half the year the coach throws the ball and then half the year the kids throw the ball and then minor b and then minor a um are just like the bigger kid ones you know obviously it goes by like how old you are not necessarily by how good you are uh and minor b the, the kids throw the ball and the minor a the kids throw the ball and then i think there's something after that but i never got, i never got past minor a guys so uh, i don't necessarily know what that last one is anyway so flash to coach pitch um, my, my, like, big position that I, I like to play, I was, I was an outfielder. I was, uh, I, I usually played left field. The reason behind that was ever since I was little, the only talent that I had when it came to baseball was being able to throw the ball really, really far. So they'd always stick me in the outfield because I'd be able to throw it from all the way where the fence was all the way to, like, let's say home plate where the catcher was. So that was pretty much the only play position I ever played. Uh, and then whenever they put me in the batting order, they'd always put me at the end because I'd usually strike out and, you know, it's just like almost guaranteed out when I started playing. Although towards the end of my baseball co career, I should say, uh, I did start actually being able to hit the ball and I started to do really well. I hit it towards like the outfield and stuff the majority of the time that I did hit it, but it was like a hit or miss situation where the majority of the time, um, I would just, I would just strike out, you know, and, like the one time I would hit it, it would, you know, it would, it would be hit, hit far. It wouldn't be 
you know, um, like a half hit, you know, or whatever. It'd be a pretty decent hit. But anyway, so one time the coach decided it would be a good idea that since one of the other teammates was gone and he wasn't like, um, you know, he was sick, I think, uh, that day, that he would place me in that kid's position. That kid's position happened to be the... What's 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 the thing called? I don't I don't play baseball anymore. This is gonna be awful. The catcher. Yep, play the catcher. Obviously, I I'm I'm. <laughs> how do I not know what the catcher was? It shows how this shows how much I care about baseball, right, guys? Uh, <laughs> no no offense to anybody who plays baseball. It just I I'm awful at baseball, and I just when you're when you're awful at baseball, you're just not the uh, the, the biggest fan of it, right? Okay, let's see. Let's go after let's go after these guys really quick, and then uh, we'll continue on with the story here. Let's finish this bad boy. Right here. Boom. Number one. And then here comes number two. Let me get these criticals in. Boom. Boom. And one more. You're dead. Okay, we got it. Nice. So, um, they, he starts playing me, like, um, like, in, in the warm-up phase of it, because, like, they have a little area where behind the, like, the, the place where the, the dugout, where the people sit while they're, like, while they're waiting to go up to bat, I was getting practice from the, the coach, um, like, on how to, like, catch the ball whenever, like, it came, you know, so I could just do the play if, like, it ever came to home plate and stuff like that. I did okay, you know, I, I, was, I wasn't the best fan of it, but, um, you know, sure enough, the game starts, and I'm playing catcher. I got the little mask on, I got the little glove that's, like, a different uh, mitt because the catcher's mitt's different than the regular mitts. Uh, and then I'm sitting there, you know, cat. I caught, like, one ball, I got two balls, and I was like, awesome, I'm good. And then, so the next time the coach throws the ball... I do something absolutely awful. I stick my arm out forward trying to catch the ball, but I stuck my arm out too far, guys, and the guy who was swinging the bat to try and hit the ball that the coach had thrown hits my arm instead. Full swing of a bat straight into my arm. So, you know... First thing that happens is I scream, obviously, because you know who else wouldn't scream in this in this thing in this in this instance? You know, out of out of sheer agony, they stop the game. They they pull me off to the side. They put some ice on. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown that mushroom stew out there. Um, they put some ice on my arm and they they ha they hold it there for a little while, and my arm just starts swelling up. Like just like think of this. You know, this is my normal arm arm size. Think of my arm being like that big, in comparison. You know, like that's how big it was. Obviously, my arm was not as big. Back then as it was now you know i was like 10 years old <laughs> you know 10 year old arm is not the same with uh with as uh you know 17 uh going on 18 year old arm right now although probably the same right because i'm i'm pretty i'm a weakling <laughs> you know i ain't do no workouts besides jogging in the mornings so i uh, you know I, I don't i do not lift bro you know <laughs> but anyway so uh my arm starts swelling up and like they ice it and I, i'm not playing in the game and then after about 45 minutes, the swelling starts going down, and we never really went to the doctors to see if my arm was broken. So, my arm could or could not have been broken um, that day. Um, my arm's fine now, you know, th there's no misshapenness in it, so if anything, I probably just sprained it. Um, I, don't, I don't think that, you know... <laughs> I, I, I broke my arm that day because, it, it, you know, the swelling went down. It didn't hurt that much. But the guy hit me pretty hard. Did not break my arm. The moral of the story is if you guys don't like playing, uh, like, whatever sport you're playing, don't play it. Because after that uh, after that year, I played, uh, I skipped a year of baseball. So I skipped, actually, I didn't skip a year. So, like, the minor B division where the a, the kids my age would have been, I skipped that division for some reason and went straight to minor A. And the kids were way older than me. And... I felt really intimidated, and then after that year, I quit baseball because I was like, "No, I'm not doing it anymore." Okay, I'll keep doing soccer, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing baseball anymore because it, it was just, it was too much for me. It was, it was, it was super scary. So, moral of the story is, you get hurt really bad, probably get traumatized, never want to play baseball again. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, guys. So, this game's still going on long enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell another story. I know, two stories in one video. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so. The story that I want to tell you guys is the reason why I didn't upload yesterday and I didn't stream yesterday was because I was actually revisiting my past. And by revisiting my past, I meant that I went to this local... Oh, there's a person right there. I went to this local skating rink down where I live. So I don't know if you guys know what a skating rink is. 
Um, oh my god, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna friggin' die if I don't eat this gapple. I need two of them. I'm gonna eat two of them. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got him. We're good. We're chilling. I thought I was gonna die there. We're safe. 60 seconds until death match. Oh my god. Alright, so I was going to the local skating rink where I live. And if you guys don't know what a skating rink is, it's basically a disco place where you go roller skating. <laughs> and um, I don't know if like many people have these places where they, they lived, but the local skating rink um, where I like I live, it always sponsored the schools that I went to. The, the the two elementary schools that I went to, and I think also the middle school that I went to, but I didn't really go to the middle school ones. Um, they would do these once a month. They were called skating parties, and uh, what they would do is they just have a school event where everyone from the school, or at least, you know, the people who wanted to go from the school, would go to the skating rink, and, you know, they'd get some rental roller skates. And these rental roller skates are not like rollerblades like you think. They're, like, literally shoes with just, like, wheel <laughs> four wheels, like, two in the front, two in the back behind them. And... You know, we go roller skating and they play some music and we all have a good time. And I did that for like four years. All right. Four years, once a month for every school like day for four years. And it was a good time. It was a good time. All right, guys. Like you guys don't necessarily understand if you if you didn't feel like go to like weren't a part of it. But the point is, um, I didn't like. I, I went back for the first time yesterday in like years and something really cool happened. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep talking even though the game even though the game is over, we're not gonna go to do another one because the story is pretty much almost over. Um I go there and I'm there with my my buddy Thomas and his girlfriend. And so we we go and we we're going like right between the there's like there's sessions where um people pay for like an hour and a half of skating so we got there right when our our time well right when the time before us stopped so like it said like please clear the skating floor or whatever and uh one, one of the people who was still on the skating floor like i he looked a little familiar to me and then i looked at him again and then he looked at me and like we made this eye contact and then like all of a sudden it hit me that this person his name his name is travis and um he like he looked at me and he's mouth he mouthed the words julio and then i'm like Travis, like, and, I, and then he, he skates over, and um, we reunite, and we say hi, and you're probably wondering who this person is. Um, back in seventh grade, uh, I always drove, or I always, not drove, I, I rode my bike with my little brother to go to school, because he went to uh, an elementary school, and I went to, a, like, a middle school, and, like, they were kind of, like, next to each other, so I'd, I'd ride my brother to school, and then I'd ride myself to school, and um, this, this, ki this kid, Travis, who was also in seventh grade with me, uh, he lived in the neighborhood that was along the way to drop my brother off from school. And so randomly one day, when like when I, when seventh grade first started, when I was first starting to do this with my brother, um, I was I, we rode my bike. And then as soon as I got to the corner of uh, like like where the where his house would connect with mine, um, which I didn't know, obviously, he rode his bike across the street and came and he said hi. And then we basically made friends that day. And. Every day for the rest of seventh grade, we'd ride our bikes together, like to, to school, and we were like, you know, considered friends. And then in eighth grade, he moved to Corona, which is well, someplace way down in California, and I never saw him again. And you know, now that was what four years ago, and I see him here, and you know, it was crazy. Like I got a blast from the past um, while experiencing the skating rink, which was also a blast from the past. It was, it was, it was, it was a surreal day yesterday. Um, and that, I, th I thought that was pretty cool. A little tidbit of a story to add at the end of this video. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Minecraft survival games. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Leave a rating. Um, you know, I love you guys. Um, today's sub Sunday, by the way, if you guys uh, want to come on my Twitch at 4 p.m., you know, play some sub games. I don't know. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have a nice day, please. I'm invisible. I try.